So in some situations, you might need to differentiate items or words that seem similar. So for example, you might need to differentiate the words or symbols like ACTH and ACH, which are two different chemicals. Yet many people often confuse similar words or concepts. And if you confuse similar words or concepts, many problems can arise. So for example, someone once sued an airline because they confused Grenada, a country in the Caribbean, with Granada, a city in Spain. And because of this confusion, they landed in the Caribbean, but had planned to land in Spain. As another example, people often confuse the bands Wheatus and Weezer. So Wheatus is renowned because of this song, Teenage Dirtbag. Whereas Weezer therefore feel obliged to play this song in their concerts as well. Otherwise the audience, who often confuse the bands, will be disappointed. Indeed, some children confuse the words prosecute with persecute and execute. And when they read that trespassers of this park will be prosecuted, they are terrified they will either be harassed or decapitated. So the techniques in this module are partly designed to overcome this confusion. The main aim of these techniques is to associate each item that must be memorised with a specific location or context. For example, people might associate each item, such as a foreign word they might need to remember, with a specific room in their house. When reminded of these locations or contexts, individuals become more likely to remember the item as well, such as the foreign word. And these techniques diminish the likelihood that similar words or concepts will be confused. And these techniques also help people learn a sequence of words, concepts or behaviours, as well as provide other benefits too.